Next, we're going to meet a student of Gonzaga University School of Law. She plans to focus her law career in public interest aimed at reforming our current system and inspires to develop restorative practices to become a worldwide model for change. She's been a volunteer crisis response advocate with Lutheran Community Services Victim Advocacy Team since 2017. As a volunteer, she takes multiple eight-hour shifts per month. During this time, she's the first on-call answering a 24-hour support line and responding to local emergency rooms who support survivors of sexual assault. When interacting with survivors, she is providing advocacy, crisis intervention, and informing victims of their rights under Washington law. Oh, and she co-founded the Revive Center for Returning Citizens, a peer-led nonprofit organization, which is constructed of formerly justice-involved individuals who work one-on-one -on -one with those coming back into the community from incarceration. The organization connects them with community partners that provide housing, legal support, basic needs, and mental health treatment services. The winner of our Emerging Philanthropist of the Year is Amber Letchworth. Now, you are going to the Gonzaga Law School right now, and that's, that's a lot to uh, do just on your own. But aside from going to school, you're also volunteering at Lutheran Community Services. And tell me a little bit about why you wanted to get involved there and why you think it's so important. Yeah, so when I first moved to Spokane, um, I heard a lot about Lutheran Community Services, and I didn't really know what it was, and then I started studying social work, and um, kind of thinking that that might be a career path for me, and um, started looking at places that I could kind of volunteer to get my feet wet, and so um, I reached out to the coordinator, uh, the volunteer coordinator, and, you know, realized that I could get trained, and um, and it was a really good way to, um, you know, work on my my skills and things like that. But but that there's such a huge need in our community, and that there's such a lack and a disconnect in the services that people receive, in, you know, when such a traumatic event happens, like you know, being assaulted. And so, I would always do the late night shifts because I have other obligations during the day, and so I would take the midnights to 8 a.m.s. And so. Um, you know, your phone rings, you go in the other room, you, you know, you answer it, you've got your folder with all your resources set out and, um, you know, you, you do a little brush up before your, uh, before your shift, make sure that you're current on, on whatever someone might need. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's just a phone call, someone who can't sleep and they're having, you know, some thoughts and some feelings about their, you know, their trauma and they just want to talk it out with someone. Sometimes it's a 10 minute phone call. Other times you're being called out by the hospital and they want you, um, they've, you know, a survivor has requested an advocate. And so you'll go in there and you'll, you'll sit with them, you know, right. Sometimes you meet them right in the waiting room and you're waiting with them. You know, sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it's two or three hours and you're waiting for, you know, um, a doctor to come out, come back, and then you're there to assist them through the whole examination, through the police interview. Um, you know, you're there to advocate for them, um, and yeah, just really kind of be there. And they're, they're they're missing that human element at the hospital. You know, some things are so like business, business, business that you get to be there just for the advocate or just for the survivor, and you know, you don't have an agenda like everyone else in the room. And so it's just it's it's really rewarding, you know, to be there. So. Well, Amber, thank you for joining us. But more importantly, thank you for being an advocate for some of the people out in our community who truly need it the most. So we really yeah. appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you, Drew.